In this video you will learn how to answer questions from the STAR Translation Cloud. When you log in, you will see that the questions icon has two open questions. So we will go in and we will answer our questions. So here we have a question number the name of the file and maybe a location in the file. We've been provided with the text and we have the question here. Please confirm that it's okay to translate the product name 2KG Dry Powder Fire Extinguisher. So uh, we will answer that. Yes, please translate as this is a descriptive name. And we hit the submit button. Next we have a question here about the brand guidelines. This question is coming out of the brand, brand guidelines July 2007. Probably the German DDU form is more in line with the guidelines. However, this would be different from what was done last year where the more formal SIE was used. So our take is to keep the formal one. Uh, the translation team would like to have this approved by the German reviewer. So we'll answer this. Uh, yes, um, I know the, yes I know the say to, be, to be informal. Submit. Now the advantage of using the, uh, the questions and answer system is that those answers go directly to the translators. So when you're working on a project around the world, you know, some people from Japan, some people from the Middle East, uh, it really speeds up the delivery of the projects. So now if we go back to uh, if we go back to our list of icons, we'll see that we have no questions open because they've all been answered. 